All right, now you heard the list, okay? You heard the list of the angel of the Lord, the angel of the Lord, the angel of the Lord. That's found particularly in Genesis, okay? I want to I wanna, uh, start this section, this mini section, by concentrating on Genesis 16 and letting the world know, okay, and, and settling this forevermore that the angel of the Lord... Just because Jesus is called the angel of the Lord doesn't make him an angel, just a pure angel, particularly in verse 13, okay? Now, let's check this out, all right? Now, you can use this chapter, chapter 16, okay, to prove the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ, okay? The deity. Now, let's check this out. Chapter 16 of Genesis. Now, Sarai, Abram's wife, had born him no children, but she had an Egyptian maidservant named Hagar. So she said to Abram, The Lord has kept me from having children. Go, sleep with my... This is, it's just, everything is in Genesis. Sleep with my maidservant. Perhaps I can build a family through her. Ab Abram agreed. Oh, there will be no doubt that he will agree. Abram agreed to what Sarai said. So after Abram had been living in Canaan ten years, Sarai, his wife, took her Egyptian maidservant, Hagar, and gave her to her husband to be his wife. He slept with Hagar, and she conceived. When she knew she was pregnant, she began to despise her mistress. Meaning, Hagar, when she was pregnant, she, was, she started to despise uh, um, uh, Sarai. Then Sarai uh, said, I'm reading from the NIV, by the way. Sarai said to Abram, quote, you are responsible, okay, for the wrong I am suffering. I put my servant in your arms, and now that she knows she is pregnant, she despises me. May the Lord judge between you and me. Your servant is in your hands, Abram said. Do with her whatever you think best. Then Sarai mistreated Hagar, so she fled from her. Meaning Hagar split, okay? Verse 7. This is the key. The angel of the Lord found Hagar near a spring in the desert, it was the spring that is beside the road to Sher. And he said, Hagar, servant of Sarai, where have you come from? And where are you going? Now this is Hagar speaking. I am running away from my mistress, Sarai. She answered, then the angel of the Lord told her, Get back to your mistress and submit to her. Verse 10, the angel added, I will so increase your descendants. Now that's the key. It doesn't say that God will increase. He says that I will increase. Let me read that again. It's very poignant. The angel added, now, let me just say this right off the bat. The word angel, okay, means messenger. This could have been translated to save a whole bunch of problems in the King James and, and a whole bunch of other versions as well. It's just messenger. The messenger of the Lord, okay? All right? It doesn't mean an angelic being all the time, okay? You have to look at the context. Now, this messenger, okay, the angel added, or the messenger added, I, okay, will so increase your 
descendants that they will be too numerous to count. Now verse 11. The angel of the Lord also said to her, You are now with child, and you will have a son. You shall name him Ishmael. Okay, Ishmael. For the Lord has heard of your misery. Now verse 12. He will be a wild donkey of a man. The NIV is very kind, okay? In the King James, it says he will be a wild ass, okay? He will be a, a wild donkey of a man. His hand will be against everyone. And everyone's hand against him. And isn't that so true? You know that Ishmael is the father of the Arab people, okay? All right? So that's the deal. And you know that they're always against everybody in the world, okay? Those who are not saved. All right? That's just the deal. It says over here, he will be a wild donkey of a man. Period. Okay? His hand will be against everyone. And everyone's hand against him. And he will live in hostility toward all his brothers. That's just the deal. Now... Ishmael, okay, and Isaac are brothers, okay, brothers, okay, that's just the deal, and the Arab people are cousins of the Jews, that's just the deal, now verse 17, this is, this is, this is another key to unlock this passage, she gave, that is Hagar, his name to the Lord, who spoke to her, quote, you are the God, who sees me? For she said, I have now seen the one who sees me. You see? You see that? Who's, the one who's speaking to her is God, folks, okay? And he's called the angel of the Lord. That settles the issue forever that Jesus is not God. That settles it. Okay? The Watchtower Society wants to call him an angel? Okay, call him an angel. But, you know, you have to know what angel means. Angel means messenger. And it says over here, it says she, that is Hagar, gave this name to the Lord. Okay? Who spoke to her. The Lord, Yahweh. Very clear in the text. You are the God who sees me. For she said, I have now seen the one who sees me. That is why the well was called Ber Lach Rai. It is still there between Kadesh and Barrett. So Hagar bar Abraham his son, and Abram gave the name Ishmael to the son she had born. Okay, so let's just stop there. Well, let's just read the whole thing anyways. Verse 16. Abram was 86 years old when Hagar bore him Ishmael. 